welcome. Um, maybe you're new. Maybe you just watched two other frantic videos. I really thought that this would be plenty of time, 30 minutes, but it seems like I am just coming up right to the end every time <laughs> for better or for worse. Okay, so um, welcome, and hopefully you can hear me, and hopefully you can see me. We are talking right now in the 7 o'clock uh, segment about organizing your punches and trimmers, and I do want to say, before I get too far into it, now that you've had a chance to run to the bathroom and get a drink, is that um, you will get an entry of for $10 in CM credits um, that I will be giving away in each segment every time you share the video and then comment shared or tag. <laughs> Thanks, Katie, <laughs> my encouraging friend. Thank you. Um, every time you share or tag a friend. Hopefully, your friends are not sick of getting tagged at this point. Hopefully, by the fifth one, they'll hop on. And they'll learn something because the last one's on power layouts. And that one is a really important one. <laughs> that is a, that is something that I am making a, um, uh, that I'm going to do um, as we are coming into 2024. Okay. But right now we're talking about tool, uh, organizing punches and trimmers. Actually, Brendan, can you, um, I know you're busy writing names. There we go. Let's just quick go over the schedule again. We are at the seven o'clock hour. We're almost halfway through. And then we've got organizing paper, which I know is a big one for all of you. And then power layouts after this. All right. So now we can get, get down to it. Sorry, Bren. He's so busy writing your names down. Okay. So the, I'm going to start with the tools organizer. I mean, it does what it says, right? It organizes your tools. But let me show you a couple features about it that you really can't get online. And even though it, you know, there are specs written online next to it, it's really, uh, it's nice to see it. Okay, so it's zipper, it's zipper shut. The dimensions are super important with this one because it is large enough to fit the 12 inch trimmer. And that's super important because you want this trimmer to be somewhere safe because it's the best trimmer on the planet and it fits perfectly in here, right? Right on the top. Your, um, the piece for your border maker system will also fit in here. Um, and I have an entire layer on the bottom of border maker cartridges. Hopefully you can see that. So let's see, seven, I have 35 border maker cartridges here um, on the bottom. Now. What I love about this lid is that when you're working at a crop, it has a bend in it. Like I didn't break this. So it has, a, it's supposed to be like that. And then you can fold it underneath. That is brilliant because it stays flush. So you can go right up to the edge of your neighbor across the way, right? You don't want to go over onto their side or maybe you're splitting a table. You can go right up to that edge and you've got your, your punches right there. Um, it comes with Velcro dividers so that you can put all kinds of little tools in there. Um, but I like to keep my uh, border maker cartridges in here. Now it does say that it's a nine pound maximum. And I'm sure that's it has to do with these little handles and stuff, but, and I'm also pretty sure that I exceed the weight. Um, so uh, these little cases are not from CM. Um, I originally found them at Target, but I've directed to some of you on Amazon to get them. They fit, they're like little drawer organizers and they fit our border maker cartridges perfectly. And what I like to do, and those of you that come to my crops know this, I punch one of them and tape it to the bottom. So that way I know which ones I'm missing. And that way when I use one, I can put it back where it goes, and if you borrow one out of crop, you we can make sure we have all of our border maker cartridges. So the Velcro on the inside is great because if you don't have border maker cartridges in here and you just wanna put your regular punches in, you can change those dividers around to fit your needs. So um, real quick, 
I'm going to show you what happens when you put a order punch in here, just so you can see how they fit in here. And of course, if it fits your 12 inch trimmer, obviously it's going to fit your, the way your decorative trimmer. And, um, I don't know about other brands of trimmers that you may have, but this trimmer is probably 15 inches long. Well, what's the dimensions? Yep. 16 and a half. All right. So these, um, punches will also fit in here. Now it seems like it's see how you can see with the camera that it's kind of coming over the top. The beauty of this being a little flexible and like with the, the lid like this is that you can zip it even with, with that a little bit above. So you can, you can put in a bunch of, um, I don't know. Let's see. One, because I have take gone to crops with them in here and that and it works out really nice. Oh, my little bottom thing is crooked. Um, so maybe like six across the, the bottom or you can pack them this way and stack them one on top of each other. But when I get to a crop, I like to turn them up on their edge so that I can see, you know, what it is because the little design is on the edge. And then I kind of stack them in that way so I can see what's going on. So they'll fit those. They'll also fit our regular punches, of course. Let me just take it out of the box. Uh, these are these are part of my inventory, so these aren't my personal ones. I store my personal punches like this in one of these. Actually, I have two that are just these punches. Um, uh, yeah, I can send it to you, Donnie. Um, so th these, these fit in, you can do a layer of these across the bottom very nicely. You can do them. I do them on the side like this all across the boat. So I can see what the punch is. Um, so again, this is one of those versatile, it says tool organizer and it will organize your tools, all manner of tools in here. And especially with those dividers that I've mentioned, you can keep things from shifting around. Um, does anyone have any other questions about these? <laughs> yes, this is um, encroaching systems. You're so funny. Um, yes, it happens. And this is a tool that helps you uh, stay in your own lane. All right, let me put this back together here put my trimmer back in there. Your personal trimmer will also fit in there. If you have the small personal trimmer, that will fit this way in there. I mean, you can, if you get one of these, you're just going to have fun, you know, trying to fit things in um, the way that works best for you. Um, but it's so nice that everything is kind of modular. So then when you go to put it in your car, or put it, you know, uh, bring it in. It's got the handles and you can, you know, okay. So now let's go to the large pod. Now the large pod is, I believe due back in February. It's sold out right now, but don't despair. I actually have one, um, in stock. So if someone needs a large pod, you can say mine right now in the comments and I will save it. Um, I will set it aside for you. I'll add it to your order. Um, and you're almost halfway to a free small flex, flex pod. So this, this um, large pod is $49. The specs of it are 15 by 10 by 13. So it will fit a pack of paper, but it won't fit our power project folders. And we're gonna talk about that when we talk about paper. But in here right now, I have 35 punches in their boxes. Okay, so this fits a lot. Now it says it will hold 35 pounds. I'm not really sure how many pounds that is, but I just filled how many I could get in here. I could probably get in a couple more um, if I stacked it. Um, stacked them in here better but this has a nice flat top and what's nice about that is that it's easy you can stack and especially you know 
when you're in the car and you've got a pack to go, the fact that you can stack these things on top of each other, I think is, um, is very nice. Um, our display tote, which I'm going to show when I talk about paper, you, it doesn't have a lid like this, so you can't stack it on top. So I personally like this one for travel. Now, this one, like I said, is returning in February. Um, it's the same durable material. Um, it's got the blue inside, which I like because you can see things in it instead of a dark black interior. It does have the... Um, this is called a trolley. I, I read it somewhere today. Um, oh, a trolley sleeve? No. Sleeve on the back. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I made up that it was called a trolley sleeve. This isn't, this is so that you can slip it onto a handle of another rolling bag. So maybe you have the rolling cart, then you could slip it on the top of that. Oh, it will. Well, that's a good question. It is not made. It says it's coming in February. I don't know if it's going to have the rainbow dots right now. They have made no indication of rainbow dots coming, but they, they just said that it will be returning. So maybe with rainbow dots, maybe not. I don't know. But this is a great. Um, yes, uh, it is great for organizing cardstock and the simple sleeve will fit in here. Um, but the power project folders, um, will not. Does anyone have any questions? It does weigh a ton. Oh, I'm so glad Dottie. I love that you're getting organized. And don't forget to share. Um, we're not drawing yet, Brendan. So, oh, oh, he's mixing. Um, don't forget to share and then comment, share it if you shared, and then tag a friend. Um, let me actually, Brendan, hmm, I don't, well, no, I was going to have you pass me a project, uh, a sleeve. It's in that rainbow dot thing in front of you. It's like an empty plastic sleeve. No, the, just the empty plastic sleeve. Yeah. All right. So this is the, um, the simple sleeve that came out, oh, maybe last year, is open on two sides. Um, so it's not like a pocket. And if you came to ice cream, make uh, cards and pages of ice cream, then you got one of those. So these um, don't, they, they stick out a little bit. So if you're, so when Trish is saying she organizes her card stock in here, it's because this is a little bit bigger than 12 inches. Brendan, can you, sorry, you were trying to hand me everything, but can you hand me that rainbow card stock? Not that. Those are the dividers. Okay, thanks. Um, see, that fits right down inside. So if it had any of the little sleeves are going to poke out over the top, but your um, but if you just put cardstock directly in there, and of course this is one of those situations where it sort of needs to be full-ish to be functional, unlike our power sort box. Um, but we all have lots and lots of paper. All right. <laughs> What's up? Oh yeah, Brendan. Review what we um, review what we learn. Um, oh, that's a good question, Trish. Um, the the rainbow ones are the same size. Oh, they don't. So you could use that. You do have some uh, wiggle room on the sides, but yes, the dividers for the power layout. Um, guide we're, we're going to talk about would fit in here. And I do, like I said, I really like how the lid is flat on this one. All right. So the tools organizer is uh, $39.50 and organizes so much. Definitely have something everyone needs. And then the large pod is $49.00. Um, 
and holds a ton of punches, but you'll break your back if you fill it with punches. <laughs> and, um, and I have one in stock. It says it's returning in February, but I have one in stock. All right. And then, all right. And as a reminder, it, the from now until the 16th, if you place an order with me or on my website, if it's $100, then you'll get one free small pod. And if it's $200, you get to choose either two uh two small pods or a pack of the simple power simple pockets now they're similar to the one i just showed you but we're going to talk more about it in the next video so definitely stick around for that now brendan has our next winner and dotty congratulations dotty you are the winner for this video thank you so much for sharing and for being on and for organizing yourself with creative memories um next up we're going to be talking about organizing paper and then our last video will be power layouts thank you so much for being on this lovely friday it's been fun so far. It's been fast. It's been furious. but And my house is a disaster. But hopefully you have um, thoughts of how you're going to get organized. All right. Well, we will see you in just 12, no, 10, 11 short minutes. And we're going to organize paper. All right. We'll see you in a bit. Stay scrappy.